I don't... When I used to make YouTube content... Ooh. When I used to make YouTube content... Oh, this is not bad at all. Um... To keep things fresh, I used to take viewer, viewer recommendations for spider mod challenges. And I hated it. I just don't like challenge runs. I like playing the game. I like playing the game the way... Well... <laughs> mostly the way it's designed. I just like playing Isaac, man. <clears throat> that is not Soul Hearts, dude. Yeah, I just like playing the game. And so, like, there are there are some challenges. The challenges that are easy... That is louder than I want it to be. The challenges that are easy... Feel like a waste of time. And the challenges that are hard... Also feel like a waste of time. If that makes any sense. And, and, and it's not just like, I don't think that they shouldn't be in the game, and I don't think some of them aren't darn near inspired. It's just, it just, uh, actively feels like it works against how I want to play the game. Like, I, when I fell in love with Isaac, you know, watching NL play it all those years ago, when I fell in love with Isaac, I certainly didn't fall in love with watching him do challenges, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the ones that are the ones that are real easy. It makes me wonder why I'm playing. Why like why why I get like it's it's I get why they exist. But man, they just they just don't uh, They don't vibe with me internally. Secret room? Super. I'm glad I held off for a second. There's nothing that says I don't get hit in this room. Unlikely, but totally could happen. I'm shocked that wasn't the... I'm shocked that wasn't the secret room. I feel like the secret room is actually right here, but I, I could be super wrong. Damn it, y'all. I'm following too many people I don't watch. Don't do this to me. Finally, go check out McQueen. You should. I can I can lead a horse to water, but I'm not obliged to make you drink. But that said, you should totally you should totally go check out McQueen. Time and thank you so much, dude. I'm so wrong on all of these. Um, shit. I have I have feelings. I feel like that's actually there. I I I can't. I yeah. You think? Um. Hmm. Could be there. Ugh. Okay, well, if we're gonna check, let's check in here. Yeah, McQueen's great. Like, he, he... He's he's genuinely just like a nice... He's just a nice dude. He's genuinely just a nice dude. Um... Man, I know where it is now. And I just don't want to do it because it involves being in here. Such an awkward place to try to lay down a bomb. Gross. I have one bomb left. And with that bomb... Neat. Normally... I'd walk out of here with tarot cloth. But this, at the very least, puts a timer. This puts a timer on when um, our active item will pay out. McQueen rated you, which is how I met you. I, like it's it's so um, w weirdly fortuitous because ultimately, like Noah put his put his foot in my back. And said, hey Taffy, I want you to uh oh, okay. Said, hey Taffy, I want you to do um I want you to, to do TikTok. So I got into I got into setting up and doing uh TikTok stuff. And then McQueen found me on TikTok because of the old school super unlucky Eden stomp. Damn. Just nothing to do with this floor. 
He found out the old school uh, Eden Stomp clip. And we've become fast online friends. Hollycat, good morning. Can't believe how many bombs I went through and how little I have to show for it on the last floor. <clears throat> this does also mean. Oh, jeezy peace. This does also mean that we can't take a deal with the devil. Or at least I'm inclined not to take a deal with the devil so we get maximum payout on this. I honestly, if we come out of it with just flight, I'll be happy. I do love the fact that we got Parasite, we just glossed over the fact that we got one of one of my favorite items in the game. It gets a little bit tougher to take it on Repentance because I feel like Parasite and Cricket's Body, when you start pairing it with the right items, crash the game pretty aggressively. Especially Trisagen, but we can't we can't play the game not to win. Giova, welcome back. McQueen wants to wants to hit me up on Discord and and I think chat about uh, talk, talk a little shop. And I get excited uh, whenever people who you know I enjoy watching on Twitch uh, want to get together and talk shop. I'm always giddy to share you know what what few things I feel like I've learned over the years. With little or no expectation of anything in the return. Because you just kind of never know how that kind of stuff comes back to you. I just feel like it always pays... It always pays to be, like, nice and supportive of everyone you meet. And you never really know how that, how that's going to come back to... I, I, I've seen people... I've seen people be cutthroat. And eventually, it, it, it always revisits them. I mean, some of them just get so wealthy... And so successful that they, they kind of hit escape velocity. And that's fine. That's just, just is the way life is. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes not great people just prosper. And that's the reality of it. But, um... Generally speaking, I'd stop short of saying those people get their comeuppance. But, uh... It does, it does tend to make their life notably more difficult. So I genuinely just try to surround myself with, like, good people, nice people. And be as supportive as, as possible. And l live under the uh, guiding, guiding philosophy of uh, a rising tide lifts all ships. So yeah, when somebody like McQueeve, who I can clearly see is good at what he does and has... Uh, potential to succeed wants to like talk shop and pick my brain. I'm an open book. Petrified poop is really good. I, I wish I could get my hands on any consumables whatsoever. Starting to get just the the tiniest bit concerned here. You know, a fast way to unlock read your mode on Afterbirth Plus. I'm going crazy. No, <laughs> no. There. There, there is no fast and efficient, there is only sadness and pain. There is only toiling. Man, this is brutal. I, if, if I concentrate, should be just fine with Duke of Flies, with this, with this kind of firepower coming out of me. Cardboard box would be ideal. Well, I can't go in there. I mean, I can go in there, but I don't want to go in there. Shit. Uh... I'm terrified this pill is a health down health downgrade. I have run out of bombs. I have not found a single key the entire run. The lone tinted rock I've found so far 
has contained nothing but bombs. Yeah, like, I have enough damage to sustain right now. That doesn't mean that I wouldn't like it to be a little bit easier. Okay, hold on. We're just gonna be gentle. Now, I, I don't. I don't wanna mess this up because I don't wanna get trapped on this land bridge with the stupid leech. Oh, just run, just run, just run. These don't come back up, right? Are those both lucky pennies? The irony. My nightmare situation here is that I don't get keys, I don't get bombs, and then I just start getting pinged for a little bit of health here and a little bit of health there. Oh no. No, 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 no. My nightmare situation is that I just start getting pinged for a half a heart here, a half a heart there. Devil deals and angel deals go away and never come back. And we just are stuck trying to figure it out the rest of the way. I guess we got bombs, which is nice. Do I do this? It's worth a shot, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I hate that you had to hear me like that. Go even. Why? Please, something go my way. Oh, this is a nightmare. Ha! Ah! Why? Come on. No, 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 no mini pin. Hold on. Uh, uh, let me finish this room. No, 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 no. God damn it. Hey! Cloud Swallowing Man, thank you so much, dude, for your support. I appreciate you. Oh, no. Too much random in this room, man. <laughs> hey, we just get to walk in. Neat! To the library! <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Dude, what if they're- what if they're the ones hidden behind spikes? Oh, God. Please don't be that one. Hey, man! What's going on, Taffy? How the heck are you? I was wondering... You know, maybe if you didn't want to have to, like, grind out soul hearts, I could, at the very least, help you out with the secret rooms, man. I, I understand that just because, like, just because I got a little educate. Ah. Neat. What? Uh, I need a red heart. Oh, I need several red hearts. Oh, I have so many thoughts. I have so many thoughts. I could use a bomb to get into the item room if I had brought that trinket with me, but I don't want to permanently forsake petrified poop. I think it has much better long-term... Um, a much better long-term positive effect on the run.
Counterpoint. We could just go buy five keys. And before Alabaster Box gives Dead Sea Scrolls and Breath of Life. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. I'm told that this still changes. I haven't seen it change since repentance happened. And I've sat here and done this for an uncomfortable period of time. It doesn't change at all anymore. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Neat! Well, at least we got to say we paid 15 cents for the opportunity to not take Butterbean. Good times. Good times. Ugh. Oh. That's a much needed bomb for what it's worth. Ugh. Nope. Back it up. 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 This is not going to do anything too dicey. Not going to take any unnecessary chances. Not going to run into harm's way. Eventually it will come to us. There it is. Secure the bag. We have some consumables for the first time on the floor. But bookworm, I, I got, I got bookworm. I absolutely picked up bookworm. Mm -mm. Oh, it's worth it because of that. We did get Bookworm, which was nice. I, okay. Uh, I'm only doing this because one of the items could be, like, stapler. And I am legitimately desperate. Yo, let's go. That's a step in the right direction. Just kill you. Two and a half percent could make a difference. Just don't get hit, forehead. On target. Stay on target. So the alabaster, alabaster box is two angel room items and three soul hearts, no matter where I pop it. But blessing is two items from any item pool. I I, I feel like I'm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Forty-eight hour energy.
<laughs> I, I, just, I just I just want to cry a little bit. <laughs> like just a little bit. Yeah, it turns out I might have been right to be uh, suspicious of that pill. Wow. What a neat, fun game. I'm one step closer here. This is the story of the newest denizen. Jackpot of the tier team. one. Twenty months. Sometimes you don't need the tab up in the screen to know how Taffy's run is going. The size in the background tell more than the video. Ugh. You ever get like upset that you that you work so incredibly hard to to like champion a video game? I don't know how I get out of here without getting hit. Yeah, I, I, like I, I feel like that's the that's the only safe bet there. I feel like any other way I do that, I get hit. Well, shit. Ugh. Like I did with H one Z one. Yeah, I just feel like uh, every time I, I, I watch Angry Pug r like rage play Dead by Daylight, and I'm like, I feel that. This dog. is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. Every time I see Angry Pug, uh, Angry Pug, uh... This is the story of the newest denizen of the king. Every time I see Angry Pug, like, take a deep breath out, and I realize that that dude's made millions off of, off of Dead by Daylight. But every time I hear that self-made millionaire sigh because of the video game he has to play, I just go, dude, I get it. <laughs> I, I get it, man. Jackspot Tier 1 for 20 months. Jackspot, thank you so much. Jackspot gives six months of tier one subs to Cheesecake Legs. Cheesecake Legs, welcome back. It's always a pleasure to have you here. And Jackspot, thank you for the half year of gifted subs to Cheesecake Legs. Just a little bacon tier one, 22 months. Just a little bacon, thank you so much. I guess if the game wasn't hard, then everyone would be good at it, but. <clears throat> It does, it does, it does, it, it hurts your feelings sometimes what this game does to you. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I've aired. Oh, nope. Parasite, help me now. Ooh. A single tears upgrade would be greatly appreciated as well. We'd be... Kind of, we'd be kind of jacked with regards to early to mid tier Isaac if we just get a single tears upgrade. Neat. Yeah. I shouldn't have trusted those buttons, but I'm desperate. I'm desperate to get these last couple of soul hearts pulled together. I actually am toying with the idea of starting to leave coins on the ground. Because I'm starting to think that Bum Friend might be on my team. Literally just to start creating consumables for us. I fucking hate this already. I need this music to be louder. I gotta try to be concentrated here. Cause this 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 particular one could get like super out of control. If you don't just sort of like pick one 
pick one piece and focus on it. Just gotta like a like a, like a lioness hunting uh, impalas. You gotta pick out the smallest and the weakest of the group, isolate it, and then take it down before the rest of the the rest of the pack can or the rest of the herd can come to its defense. You don't ever charge in when you're when you're behind in numbers. And eliminate the amount of risk you have to tolerate. Ooh. A lioness hunts cars? Well, it's awfully sexist of you to think that she needs her husband to do it for her. Is that how you feel? Do you have some really weird gender associations, Arkham Assassin, that you're working through? Do you think the lioness needs the lion to come with her to hunt for a car? I feel like she's perfectly capable of doing her own research. Alright, I can bring the music down. I don't have to be quite so angry at this room. Greetings, Jackspot. Welcome. Don't you put that evil on me. Don't you make me second guess whether or not I thought of the right word. I'm sitting here trying to be... Uh, trying to be concentrated on literally no hitting the entire first several floors of the game while having commentary go on in the background. I see a lioness hunts cards and all I can think to myself is, fuck, I said the wrong word. Oh, I'm so scared. What about uh, just throwing it out here? Soul hearts. Motherfuck. What about the Hierophant? Neat. Nope. Fuck that room. Oh, is, is today uh, the uh, the Awata daily? It must be Awata's birthday. Yeah, King Dank, not today. Not today, Satan. I shan't be accepting that into my life today. There's been one tinted rock, and that lone tinted rock had uh, four bombs in it. I'm, I'm genuinely desperate enough. We know it's not a health downgrade. I'm desperate enough to look for like magic mush, mini mush. Oh. Ah! Sorry, I'm good. It was incredibly scary for a second. Uh, petrified poop whenever you're ready, really. You got, uh, you got health or a tears upgrade in there? My hands just got sweaty. Like, I, I just rage sweated into my hands. I just wanted to see what's in fucking that thing. I just wanted to see what was in the, the boss trap room. That's all I wanted. Maybe it's a tears upgrade. You know? Fuck me for daring to dream. Oh, I have plans for this floor. <laughs> this, 
This shit's starting to get personal. Go ahead, munch. Go ahead, knock yourself out. The shops are all useless this run anyway. They'll show you for not buying four souls. The shops are all useless anyway. Might as well give you a crack. All I ask is that you let me have the luck upgrades. The ironically named luck upgrades. Why not? Oh, fuck my life. I want to die. You little rat fuck. I hope you kill me. Thank God we got that last soul heart out of the way. That had been real frustrating to have gone through all that and not gotten the soul heart out of that tinted rock. Mm. Do it, you won't, coward. Mm. <sighs> okay. My chest is tight, is that normal? Finally got a tears upgrade. I'm holding on to one bomb. Fuck you, game forever. Leaving that key behind, leaving that card behind. We're just leaving. Uh well, at least I can safeguard. Theoretically, I can safeguard the deal with the devil chance here for at least this room. Oh, I fucking hate it. Ah, damn it. Cool. That room. That's where my last bomb goes. <sighs> Good to know. At least there's nothing trying to distract me from killing these bats. Motherfucker. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. Range down.
All the robot tier one for six months. Thank you so much for giving me a reason to continue my streaming career. I have a live bomb, I was gonna say. Such a reach. I'm begging you. I don't know that I go so far as to scream worth from the from the mountaintops, but I'm at least not like supremely disappointed. Well, now we go hunting for secret rooms. Whoa, what's going on here? What do you see with your special eyes? Uh, <laughs> what? It's so bad! Why? God damn it! So confused about what I'm supposed to want right now. Oh my god. Watch it ooh. Hey man, those are good. Watch it be one of the shitty planetariums. Noah, thank you for the hundred bits. I gave you this as a token of friendship also. Finished the first chapter of my book. So I'm hype about that. I sent you and Justin a DM on Discord if that's cool. Good morning, Monday morning. Are you writing a book? Or are you just happy that you're reading a book? Writing a book, may I ask? What about? You don't. I guess you don't have to share if you don't want to. But you're writing a book about timing. It's an interesting read. Thank you for the hundred bits, by the way. I will point out when I came in this morning, I said fuck today. I did not know I was foretelling Isaac, so sorry, sorry about that. I'll tell you later. Man, I can't wait to expose all these idiots that call themselves your clients. Oh, why? You're so slow now. You weren't slow before. You couldn't wait to get here and hurt me. Now you're slow when I put bombs on the ground? Oh, uh, BFF would be a huge pickup. It's just the shops have been hot garbage. I'm gonna look for the second secret room. I'm gonna go look for a deal with the angel. And then I guess we'll mosey. Oh, get in, get, get in, get in my holy goop. Thank you. Bum friend, I couldn't help but notice you helping yourself to the spoils of my wor work. Neat, that's uh, useless. Appreciate it. I 
I've had, oh, Jesus Christ. I've had people tell me that they think I should write a book. There would just be a memoir. I'd like to believe that all the best stuff hasn't happened just yet. Where's that range upgrade I was longing for? Shit, I'm so stupid. I probably should have left at least a soul heart on the ground. I'll, I'll be able to get it back. We're going uh, banana hams. I got a, I got a, I got a fever, and the only prescription is more sack room. Where are my manners? Good morning, Taffarino. Hope life is treating you better than this Isaac run does. I f uh, Nemesis Dragon. Happy to have you here. Chat is definitely the redeeming quality that I've got at the moment. Chat is the redeeming part of this day so far. Ooh, shit. I need more Red Heart health just to lock it down. Um, and <clears throat> anyway, people have said for a while that I should I should pull together a memoir. Like I said, I, there's a part of me that was definitely waiting to see how Pretzel and 99 Lives shook out. I didn't want to write a. I I know that there are streamers. It always kind of cracks me up, and I don't ever want to. I don't want it to sound like I'm shitting on people, but like, there's a part of me that has to giggle a little bit. When you hear that, like, a person who's, like, 22 wrote a memoir, and I'm like, I don't doubt that interesting stuff has happened to you, but you can't believe that it's all behind you now. So there's definitely a part of me that, like, uh, was hoping to see kind of how that shook out. Before I kind of committed to, uh ever trying to put pen to paper. I wouldn't even know where to start. And Tavi openly hates everyone and you thought he was joking the biography. I just like, there's a part of me that, that uh... Ooh, shit, I don't wanna actually do that. Just give me soul hearts, soul hearts, it's all yours. Listen, what are you doing? Oh, there's, was that, there's just so much money in there, huh? I might, I might have made this overly complicated. Just no, no live spiders, huh? You scare the shit out of me sometimes, bum friend. I wish I was kidding, but you, you are terrifying. Did <laughs> chat? Did anyone? Did any one of us think Taffy was joking? I think. We were all pretty on board that he was being sincere. I don't hate anybody anymore. I used to have some real venom that lived inside me, but I got rid of that a long time ago. You have many anecdotes to tell. You've lived uh, a many and varied life so far. A memoir makes sense. I just, you know, ultimately, I'd like it as a, it, it, for me, it would be an affirmation. For me, it would be an affirmation that if you, if you choose to live an unconventional life, it can work that on at least a dozen different occasions in my life, I've had to stare down the fork in the road of just like leaning into the, you know, leaning into the corporate meat grinder or taking a bunch of calculated risks so that I may never have to hold down a traditional long-term career job. And then I'm going to get to the end of this and I'm not going to have like a, a normal story, I don't think, to show for it. And there was a part of me for a long time that used to feel very self-conscious about that. But if it ends up working out, then that's, you know, that's a triumph, right? You would imagine. I got my college degree by writing about the fucked up things that happened to me leading up to graduating college. It's all about just knowing that you could get a second edition. Yeah, that's fair. I, I, I think that's like, if, if there's a valid criticism to my criticism. 
then it's definitely, you know, well, what if, what if you have multiple books worth of interesting stuff that happened to you in your life? I don't know that I ever anticipated that I would have multiple interesting books. Yeah, I don't know. I, I spent a very long time being determined. Neat. Well, almost neat. Fuck that, man. Oh. Raise your hand if you don't want to do that room. Oh, I wish I'd saved the uh, Ace of Diamonds for this room. It's so funny because ultimately I've been at this for so long. Oh shit. No, 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 no. You can't have me. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. Uh. Ah, God damn it! Fuck this room forever! Mmm. I don't like that room at all. <sighs> Zombie Ron Swanson, dude, nine hours ago you gifted uh, a three month sub. Thank you so much. And welcome back, dude. Barrel, tier 134 months, fucking Mondays, am I right? God, you are super right today. I have now pissed away yet another this deal with the, the angel, unless I can figure out a way Denizen to scum it. Cave. Game Shark tier one for 13 months. Game Shark, welcome back. You silent force of nature, you. Oh. This run has made me like fatigued. I don't know why I would need a fool card, but I might need a fool card, I guess. Wow. Just. Just wow. Yeah, Zombie Ron Swanson, if I, 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 I'm, I'll reiterate it now with, with more people here. I say more people here. I've, I've not had my viewership on since the middle of November. I genuinely wanted to see what happens if I don't know how many people are watching me. And I think it lends itself to a more consistent um, product, if I'm being honest. I was always pretty skeptical about not having viewership numbers on, but I feel like it's going pretty well in that I never get in my head about what's going on in the course of a day. Neat. Um, but yeah, uh, working under the assumption that there are some folks here that weren't here earlier, if I don't show up for work tomorrow, I'm getting the... Well, I say I'm getting... I'm going to the doctor today for a physical. I'm, I'm going to work under the assumption that he's going to be able slash willing to give me a COVID booster and a flu shot. So if I don't show up tomorrow, uh, know that it's nothing personal. There's a, there's a pretty good chance that I could end up feeling like stir-fried dog shit. Weird. Um, Monroe Bot, what's going on? Welcome back. The game has been not particularly kind to me today. Although Buddy in a Box seems to be ready and willing to do its part.
Oh, uh. Not as bad as that other room. I just don't want to walk all the way back here, but I do want to see what's going on in here. It's a power pill. The irony of two luck up pills. Paralysis. Oh, that'd be great, K-Pines. I would love that. I would love that. There have been a handful of folks who have said that they've been fortunate enough <clears throat> to not really have any side effects whatsoever from getting that uh, booster flu shot cocktail combo. I would like very much to be one of those people. My wife didn't really have any adverse effects, and both of my sons seem to have just shrugged it off. Isaac! Matter of fact, the only person I can think of who had a genuinely kind of dog shit experience uh, with boosters, or sorry, with uh, with with, with uh, vaccines, was that that second dose of Pfizer. T took me out of commission for two days. I was not a fan of how bad I felt. But the first, the first Pfizer, the first Pfizer shot just made me a little like groggy and gave me a sore arm. But that was like the worst of it. That second Pfizer shot just derailed me for two days. I couldn't get up off the couch. Oh, we got incredibly lucky there. At this point, I feel kind of... This song goes out to the game. Ah. Uh. I thought they would stop. This is an organic play of this song. Yep. He's making me soul weary, man. You about done? What if? Nice shot, asshole. I I'm committed now.
I am, for lack of a better term, owed. A, a, a couple of secret rooms, I think. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I do here. Excuse. You want some jelly beans? I got some jelly beans. What's going on up here? Would I? Probably, I guess. I, I got a couple of different things I want to try to tackle here. Mm. I heard you like range downgrades. Talk myself into touching that chest. I'm drowsy. There we go. Alright, here's what I'm thinking. We go see if we can get that beggar to pay out. And we see what it is. If it's health, we go take nine lives. Not that I think it does us any real good right now, but... I don't know. Stranger things have happened, I guess. Two, five, three, nine, woo! Interesting. It's gotta be faster than bum friend. Let's go. Spanking dudes, what's going on, man? What are you doing for Christmas? My mom's gonna make homemade cookies. Uh, I'm probably just hanging out at home. <clears throat> I know that we're gonna end up prob probably doing um, our our new annual tradition of the holiday taffy Yule log. This year, the the difference being is that we are gonna have a, a pretty big AV upgrade. So hopefully, like last year, I just had an old Logitech webcam pointed at the fire in low light and it did okay but it, it missed a lot of the nuance of the fire so this year I'm gonna take my my AT2020 USB condenser mic and aim it at the crackle <clears throat> and um, I can't believe this guy didn't pay out I must have given him what 30 cents and then we have our brand our brand new uh, High def NDI cameras that we can point at it. So um, we'll do we'll do our 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 holiday Yule log, and then we've got to figure out. I owe I owe you you fine folks. Uh, I owe you fine folks a, a December cooking stream. So we should figure out what you all would like to watch me cook. I, I, I feel like I'm going to try to do at least one cooking stream a month. Zuberry, welcome back. So 
So yeah, anywho. <clears throat> That's really it. I, I should do I should do at least one more cooking stream in December. And then we'll do our uh we'll do our Yule log, which reminds me I should probably order more firewood. One of my firewood stands is empty. But yeah, we'll do a we'll do a Yule log with Christmas music. Uh, and then I'll do a I'll do a cooking stream. I genuinely didn't mean to leave there with uh, the counterfeit penny, but I don't really think it makes a difference. This will probably be some of the last poop we see uh, on the floor between now and the end of the run. Soul of Samson. Would you say no to a huge rack of prime rib? I've never done prime rib before. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. Um, I wouldn't mind uh, whatever we decide to try to tackle being like, you know, a little spendy and labor intensive. I like the idea of it being a challenge. Like the the last time I did something that made me feel really challenged in the kitchen was uh, that bolognese sauce because. Uh, it's the kind of thing that you have to cook. Jeezy Pete's really? Two hours already, huh? My phone sometimes just like goes to sleep. Would you consider letting me in? There we go. When that alarm's going off, man. Okay. So many messages. Me too, Fo, me too. Chicken cord on blue would be cool. Yeah, like I like I I, I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind doing something that's a little labor intensive for sure. I just wanted to see what we had going on in here. Chat, I need to pee. I think I'm okay on coffee. I feel a little I feel a little They're gonna kick you out that quick. I'm telling you they got a they've got a scraper. They've got a they've got a, a, a scraper scanner that goes through and and li literally uh, I feel a little bit bad. <laughs> they've been good to us. They they've treated us well. They they got us into the program in its early early infancy. But there's a part of me that's like, man, if you'd spend as much time working on uh, potential product upgrades as you did working on building, okay. As you did uh, build, <laughs> building a scraper that checks to make sure that I still am advertising your product in the viewing area below my stream, I might not. I might not be. Uh, I might not be switching to throne. But I don't need two. I don't need two stream gifting platforms simultaneously. So I guess it just is what it is. Yeah, double taco like oh, that's an idea. What if if the if the meat grinder from JJ Madison gets here before like the end of December, which it, it totally should. What if we like made made our own hamburger? I've never done that before. I don't I don't uh, I don't necessarily want to make my own sausage yet. But what if we what if we made our own hamburger? They hit some real stumbling blocks. Stream gifts did, and I was really sympathetic about it. Um, but they hit some real stumbling blocks where they, they, I don't know how they built it. But they, I should have grabbed the soul and forgotten on the way out. What, was this one up here? Oh, it's Samson? I'll take that. I like the soul of Samson better. Um, they hit some real stumbling blocks. However, however they built it, piggybacking off of Amazon's API, it used to be that you built a wish list. Like you built a wish list, and then um, streamlifts stream gifts used that wish list to populate a system. 
to populate your page. And then when somebody bought it, it just showed as being purchased by you or purchased by someone off of, off of that wish list. And that that automated API, that process over time. Neat, I guess. So yeah, I don't know. Stream gifts worked super well for us for a very long time. But one of my one of the things that I've been looking for in a you know in a service is the ability to um, the ability to uh, order from places that aren't Amazon. So that was like the big that was like the big kicker for me was was just uh, being able to get stuff from like Displate and being able to get stuff from like Etsy. I mean, literally, kind of from what I can tell, being able to get stuff from anywhere. Uh, and that's a that's a pretty big that's a pretty big. Uh, one up in my mind. Lost Romeo, welcome back, dude. Ugh. Whoo, it just keeps going. Um... Priority Express mail some Wagyu from Japan for those burgers. I don't know. I've always seen people do the uh, Fancy Pants burgers where they get like four or five like good cuts of meat and then they just grind it all together and make their own hamburger. And that sound, like, that's always sounded cool to me. So maybe if... Uh, also, there's a part of me that, that I know that my patio is not going to be done until January. Um... I know that my patio is not going to be done until January, but there's definitely a part of me that uh, wants to upgrade my grill. Yeah, Frimery, there's definitely a part of me that feels like once you reach a point where you're, once you reach a, once you reach a point, um, I got so many Discord messages. If you're making hamburger, like putting good meat in there is one thing. Putting wagyu in there is like. I don't know. See, it feels like a waste to me. What was I looking up? Uh, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to find this. I should be able to find this. If I go far enough up. Anyway, I, like, my point being is I'm thinking about getting myself, like, a Traeger. Think, I was thinking about getting myself, like, a real nice grill. As a, as a, so, like, copy link. This was, this was Lucid saying he wished he could get his Traeger up to TaffyCon when they all came to visit during the summer. So that's, that's Lucid's grill. To which I responded, are you trying to tell me the second link is mine? It's like, to which I respond, to, to which I responded, are you trying to tell me that you don't think my grill is going to be enough, enough machine for you? champion if I if I clean the grill on mine too hard th the the actual ribs of the grill itself will snap because they're so old and corroded and the the fucking uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, the 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 little shelves that are on the side I I had to stop putting stuff on them because one of them just snapped under the weight of a plate and I was like well oh. No, no, no more setting. These are no longer load-bearing shelves. I listen. Before that was a like ooh, tears upgrade. Range fine. That's fine. Um, before this grill was like a sixty-dollar grill that didn't even have legs. It sat on the ground, and then this one was technically an upgrade. Where I spent a hundred dollars on my grill, which was genuinely kind of felt like money at the time, money we didn't even have. Um, but it served me well, and and uh, I don't know, like 
eventually I knew I was gonna have to upgrade, but it, 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 is, it is still taking me time. It is still taking me time and the permission of Galen. It is still taking me time and the permission of Galen, my financial planner, to pull the trigger on things like household appliances or new grills. And now we know what needs to be added to the throw before next summer. I like I you know, I, I I had told myself that if I could just make myself be patient that I would I would set myself up with a new grill. Somebody asked me if I was planning on smoking. I, I hadn't been, but at the same time, like that was another one of those things where it's like I'd never really gotten into the idea of smoking because it was a it was um another expense that I didn't need to try to shoulder w when when Amber and I were broke. Rust and grease is somehow keeping that grill together. Yeah, Zombie Ross Watson, at this point, I, I, I genuinely do think it would just be okay if I just replaced the grill. Do you have a need for a Blackstone? I don't know what that is. Uh, question Tabby, charcoal, gas, or both? So I, I, I felt pretty emphatically charcoal-y when a gas grill wasn't even like something that I could entertain affording. Um, now I don't, I honestly don't know. Um, I had a, I had a buddy who got a, who got a gas grill and he was a pretty hardcore charcoal man for a long time. But damned if it's not convenient to just walk out and throw a couple of switches and be grilling as opposed to, well, we want to have dinner at 6.30, so I better get the charcoal grill going at 5. So, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm flexible. I'm flexible now because there's just ultimately a part of me that, you know, oh, I never use gas. Charcoal is where it's at. But I'm just like, oh, I'm 41. I'm 41 and the owner of my own, you know, self-employed company. Maybe, maybe I could, maybe I could make the switch to gas. I could be talked into it. That has a nice patina. A Blackstone is a propane griddle. Blackstone is a high-end grill. I've never even heard of it before. Like I said, I've never really been in the market until like this last year. But I just can't, I can't have this nasty ass, uh, I can't have this nasty ass rust bucket. Oh my God. I can't have this nasty ass rust bucket sitting on a five figure home renovation. Blackstone products. It's a Blackstone grill. There we go. Oh, like a like a like a legitimate flat top griddle. Holy ass. I would have to start cooking I would have to start cooking breakfast outdoors, which is not a condemnation. I'll look for any excuse to soak up any sort of sunshine. <laughs> like I'll look for any excuse to get out of my house once in a blue moon. Dual fuel combination charcoal grill. Holy shit, that is a monster. I don't know. I guess I guess it's charcoal on the left and, and, and gas on the right. I've never heard of that brand, yeah. Blossoms with a Z. Oh man, that makes me apprehensive. I can't be the only one there. I get I get weirded out. I was gonna say I get, I get weirded out when a when a brand's like, ah, oh, well we'll just pick a regular word, but we'll never get the trademark to that regular word. And it's like, don't worry, we'll put a Z on the end. While you're at it and you have the landscaper over it anyway, why not install a blackstone, a barbecue pit, and a pizza oven while you're at it? I for a split second wireless angel, I thought you were being serious. And there was genuinely a part of me that was like. There was genuinely a part of me that was just like. If you think that I hadn't already talked to my landscaper and even more importantly to my wife about what I could and couldn't ask the landscaper to do, 
You are sadly mistaken. Damn, I'm getting my ass slapped around here. Not in a good way. All oh, right, because ultimately this is legitimately kind of a pedestrian run. Hold on one second, chat. I would love to. I would love to come back to you and. and oh god. I will say that Parasite is making it incredibly difficult to land bombs. We're getting tossed around, but it's gonna be fine. I just, you know, wish it was. Wish this run was going a little cleaner. I just want to get to the next floor and get some new items. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that, but I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, God. SG Poseidon says, I have the 36-inch. Talking about the Blackstone, I'm sure. It makes great, uh, uh, great bacon and amazing hibachi. Damn, man. I never thought about making my own hibachi. I freaking adore hibachi. I would make my own hibachi. Yeah, honestly, Hollingsworth list, there's definitely a part of me. Let's see, Matt Pat did a food uh, food theory video on charcoal versus gas. It was pretty interesting in the daddest of ways. What was Veril, if you don't mind just giving me the TLDR, what did Matt Pat what was the conclusion that Matt Pat came to? Oh, these are terrible. Well, not terrible items, but like not great. Damn. Yeah, listen, I, 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 you're not going to talk me out of a, uh, I don't have a griddle inside my house. And part of the reason I don't is because I've got, uh, you know, I've got a glass top range. Uh, it, with, without the potential of being able to do gas, like, I can't do gas in this, in this neighborhood. And that's okay, I don't need to do gas in this neighborhood. I'm alright with that, you know what I mean? But, uh, there have definitely been many times where I'm like, damn, what I wouldn't get for a griddle right now. Whenever I'm doing pancakes, I do brunch every Sunday for the family. And gen generally that consists of like, generally that consists of me doing like French toast, pancakes, whatever. And I find myself doing pancakes two at a time inside a standard like 16 inch saucepan or whatever, because it's what I've got. A little bit, Lost Romeo, I'm not gonna lie. You kinda, you kinda, <laughs> you, you, you have put unwanted but desirable thoughts in my head um yeah the the one thing that I definitely wanted was that I I, I have found my I love grilling and I have found myself not grilling like I, I've been making a huge mess inside the house doing smash burgers and cast iron on on my glass top range just because I don't want like I make a mess that Amber ends up usually cleaning up. I make a huge mess that Amber ends up cleaning up. And, and she says she's happy to do it because she doesn't have to cook. Because I'd rather do that than go outside and grill and have a beer. Uh, just because the, the, the grill that I've got is on its last, like literally on its last legs. So I knew, I knew for me that the, the priority the priority for me was uh, I, I need to get a new grill. I'd never given any sort of thought to like a legitimate uh, badass uh, griddle. Um, whatever, it hurt me, daddy. Um, I did stop short. Am Amber made me stop short. Oh my God, stop, stop getting hit, you big dumb idiot. Amber made me stop short of uh, asking the landscaper to put like a full-blown outdoor kitchen. We 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 had already hit the the high end of our budget. So when it came time for like, do we want to build a permanent fire pit? Do we want some sort of outdoor kitchen feature? Kitchen feature. I had to start. Uh, I had to start putting the kibosh. I will just hold still. You doubt me, game? I will just hold still and let Blue Baby's only friend accidentally win this for me. Test me on it. You better get your shit in order. Um, because there was a part of me that's like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if I just did like an outdoor cooking space? 
and then, and, then, and, then, and then I was like, baby, what if we did like a little pizza area? And she's like, sweetheart. She's like, you haven't made a homemade pizza since like 2008. And I was like, all right, fair. But I mean, genuinely, like it's a, it's a space that's built for entertaining, right? Like that's the whole point is that we want to like have people over and have high school graduations and you know have baby showers one day maybe and uh, we want we want you know we want to make our neighbors envious a little. I'll say it. <laughs> I'll say it. Get, get inside the chest! We're done! What a terrible run to start the day. Some days, bumbo, lucky bumbo, some days the bumbo is a bad bumbo. He's got coins. 